Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to Journeys with Jay. In today's video, I'm jumping straight into the tutorial. So today I'm using my Press X Sculpted Stiletto in Long. I've been really liking these extensions recently. And I'm just going in with my natural nail prep first. You guys know if you've been here before or you're watching any of my other videos, I follow the same prep steps. alcohol prep pad to remove any dust from my natural nails. I've really been loving this Hema Free Base Coat from Model Ones, so I've been using that a lot on my natural nails before going in with my extensions. I just do a thin coat of this to my natural nails and cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds.
Okay, you guys, now that all of the nails are applied, I am going to go in with my mini sanding band on my drill, and I'm just going to lightly clean up around the cuticle. I don't really want to do... I don't want to do too much cuticle work today. I don't want to go too far with it. Um, but I'm just literally going to cut my drill onto a one. Going lightly around the cuticles because I know that I'm going in with acetone. So we're not doing too much with the drill today. Just lightly. Don't apply any pressure. Okay, now I'm just taking a little dipping dish and I'm going to put a little bit of acetone in there. You don't need a lot. I have about this much acetone in here. And then I'm going to take a brush. It can be any brush. Um, I have this one here. I don't remember how long I've had it or where exactly I got it from, but I know that it was more than likely Amazon. <laughs> So you guys see that this brush isn't in the best condition, which is totally fine. I like that it's flat, um, like a squared brush, because what I'm going to do is dip into that acetone and just work it around the cuticle area so that we can really melt in that extension. And I have a little napkin here. So we're just dipping, making sure not to have too much on the brush. So you'll see me kind of dabbing it on the napkin before going onto the nail. And then here, I'm just lightly scrubbing and rubbing that around that cuticle area to really melt that extension down. And be careful, you, want, you really wanna make sure that this isn't super like overly runny because then you can experience lifting from the acetone as well. guys see how much cleaner the nail looks and how it's more melted in around that cuticle area I really like to take my time and you guys will see when I do apply the acetone that I like to really scrub it in this brush is dry by now the acetone will dry so you don't need to go in with a lot of product just have a little patience and just really scrub it back and forth until you see that nail has melted down. Again, we're using small quantities of product. That way our nail does not lift. So you see this nail here compared to this nail here and this nail here. You see they still look kinda eh. You can definitely go with it like this, but 
I just prefer mine to be nice and just seamless. See how seamless that looks? And then you have this nail here. It's not as seamless. So let's go ahead and do that to the rest of the nails.
lint-free wipe. We're gonna grab a new nail buffer. And I'm also going to grab another alcohol prep pad. So, as you guys can see, I already have the chrome placement on my pinky, as well as my thumb. So what I'm going to do is lightly buff the surface of my pointer finger. We're gonna do one at a time. We're just removing the shine. And then I'm gonna go in with a alcohol prep pad. We're just going to wipe off any dust that's lingering. Let that dry. And then we're going to go ahead and start with our chrome application. The black detail polish I'm using is Black Black by DND. This is my main black detail polish that I use. I would like to try more brands that are a little thinner in texture and very, very, very opaque, but this is what I have, so this is what I'm going to use for now. And so what we're going to do is for this finger, I'm going to apply some little swirls. kind of want to do something different on each finger. I have a regular French tip on the pinky and then I have some lines here with like little peekaboos. So for this one, I'm thinking like a line design. Not really feeling that. Let's start over. Okay, now that I essentially have my black where I want it placed. I'm going to go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds in my big lamp. Okay, so now that the black is on and cured, I'm gonna go in with my chrome powder. The chrome powder that I'm using is Bougie Babe by Not Polish, what that looks like. After dipping the applicator into the chrome, we're gonna go ahead and rub that across the nails. Now that we have that applied, I'm just going to go ahead and take a brush and dust off any remaining chrome that does not need to be there. So now we can go ahead and I'm just going to top coat this finger before I move on to the last two nails that I need to do. So I'm going in with my Model 1's top coat. This is my designated top coat whenever I'm using chrome. Just so I'm not mixing it in with my other top coat. So this is what the nail looks like with the top coat. And then we're gonna go ahead and cure.
so we now have the fully chrome nail I have not top coated it yet I did do a second layer of the top coat carrying it for 30 seconds and then just rubbing in that chrome and this one looks really really good now I'm going to possibly do another kind of design on this finger I don't know what yet Now we're just going to apply a layer of top coat on all of the nails that I haven't top coated, so just these two. Now we're going to go ahead and cure all of the nails for 60 seconds. Alrighty you guys, this is going to be the final look. I'm really enjoying the chrome nails, especially for fall and winter. This color is so pretty. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao!